We are re-gearing this massive 3500 Ram and ran into a problem. We're gonna tell you all about it. This Ram behind me is awesome. It is a 2016 3500 Mega Cab Dually and it's built to the hilt. It's got Carly suspension, King shocks, and 37 inch tall tires. The owner of this truck came to us and said, man, these 3.73 gears are not cutting it and I need 4.30 ratio. We said, no problem, we are more than obliged to do it. And about two weeks ago, we attempted the initial install. What we found was that on some of these trucks, they came with 16 bolts holding the ring gear to the carrier. We were not expecting that. The owner actually brought us gears from Nitro Gear and Axle, which make a 4.30 ring and pinion set for this truck. But like I said, apparently some of these trucks, I think specifically the dualies that came with the Ison transmission had this 16 bolt carrier holding the ring gear on. Unfortunately, at that point, we had to put it all back together and go back to the drawing board. After a lot of research and consultation with other experts in the industry, what we found is that the Detroit True Track has the right number of ring gear bolts to make it work. So what we're gonna be doing is replacing the factory carrier right here with the Detroit True Track Limited Slip. As you can see, Travis has the ring gear already bolted onto the carrier. This is for the rear differential. And we're gonna be installing it. This thing is massively heavy. I don't, I can barely pick it up. Uh, but this is the way to do it. So if you're gonna re-gear your truck, this is what you need to do. The front, uh, we don't have a part yet, but we don't anticipate any problems with this front axle. This is some good information if you have a Ram like this. This is a 2016, and I believe 2016 and newer are the trucks that have this issue, this rare carrier. So if you got an older truck, I don't think you have an issue. You should have this uh, 12 bolt diff. This is the AAM 11.5 or 11.8 rear axle assembly. We are working on the 430 re-gear and have the front axle all disassembled. The rear is all done and with the right true track went together smoothly, but we ran into another problem. Sometimes you win on projects and sometimes you lose. And this project has been a really difficult for one for us to get all the parts, all the correct parts here at the right time. So what we ran into, I'm gonna show you. Right here is the differential carrier for the front axle. And as you can see, stamped right into the top of that carrier are different ratios. And it says 3.42 to 3.73. That's telling us that this carrier is designed to only work with ring and pinions that are 3.42 or 3.73, not with 4.30 that we are installing today. So, we had another part overnighted to make this happen, and that is this awesome spacer. This was made by Nitro, and also includes new, longer ring gear bolts. This spacer will allow us to simply put it on right there, and bolt the new ring gear on. I guess that's this one, right? Bolt the new ring gear on. 
so we can get the uh, right amount of backlash in the, so we can get any backlash, right. so we can get any backlash in the pinion and ring gears. Otherwise, the ring is too far away from the pinion to make it work right. Now you may think, man, O'Day, you should have figured this all out before we started the project. And I agree, we should have. We actually reached out to a couple other vendors to make sure we had all the right parts and we were confirmed that we did. But this truck is actually pretty special in that it's a dually and that it has the big heavy duty ASIN transmission. So that's definitely something you gotta be aware of when you're regearing a truck just like this. I'm gonna let Travis get back at it because uh, we're already behind the eight ball on this project, but we're looking forward to wrapping it up and getting the customer exactly what he wants, and that's 430s in his new Ram. I thought the ring gear spacer would be the end-all cure-all problem for the front gears that we had in this truck. And man, was I wrong. We actually found out a whole new issue. The gears that we got from Nitro actually are the GM nine and a quarter gears. And they are not right for this specific truck. This truck actually calls for a Ram nine and a quarter specific front ring and pinion swap. Now, Nitro didn't actually leave us high and dry. They definitely reimbursed us for all, for everything that we had issues with, but we actually had to overnight a ring and pinion from Yukon in a 430 ratio to make it happen. As soon as we got the ring and pinion, the correct ring and pinion from Yukon, it went together like a dream. We had perfect backlash, we had an awesome pattern, and everything went together fine. Now, we've had a whole bunch of issues on this truck, but it is complete and what an awesome rig it is behind us. It's got 37 inch tall tires and 430 gears. The thing's gonna roll down the road awesome. And we're totally pumped that the customer brought to us to have the gear swapped out. And I think all in all, it's gonna be a perfect ratio for exactly what he's looking for. If you have any ring opinion questions or differential issues, give us a shout. We can definitely repair any differential that you've got. For some of the cool content that we do regularly, of things that happen in the shop. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Wait, before you go, I wanted to let you know that we also calibrated this thing with the ProCal from AEV.